as we come on the air here tonight, including the new documents dropping today, painting a difficult picture of failure inside the heart unit at John Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete. One detail emerging needles left inside the chests of children. And tonight, Heather Lee digging through this report and what now happens next. All Children's is known for its accuracy and Johns Hopkins is ranked among the nation's best in health care. Together, you may expect extraordinary things. There was a president who was basically running this thing single-handedly and not talking to people while things were burning around him. It, it's bizarre. Jay Wolfson, the associate vice president at USF Health, says after combining their names, the foundation began crumbling. They kind of walked away. According to this report, they weren't monitoring what was going on after they put their administrators, who then hired their clinicians in place, until something exploded. The recommendations released today by a third-party law firm claim leadership wasn't listening to concerns from physicians and nurses, and that reporting systems to help keep track of things going wrong weren't there, leaving no safety net for patients. You can't do a good clinical job unless you have those systems in place first. The report also says many of the clinicians being hired didn't meet certain credentials. You'd think the Johns Hopkins would have higher standards, maybe, uh, and that's mentioned several times. Wolfson believes getting a strong reputation back will require listening and learning from experts on both sides of the bay. Publicly, openly, transparently. Johns Hopkins recognizing today these crucial recommendations, vowing to make changes right away to better protect patients. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.